Twinkle Original, Dragons in the City. This was Bo's favorite time of year. Everyone was here. Mom, Dad, Bo, Leo, Gran, Cousin Evie, Uncle Charlie, Auntie May, and Uncle Gian were all squeezed around the table. All of Bo's family had gathered together for a reunion dinner. They were celebrating a very special and exciting occasion, Chinese New Year. After dinner, Auntie May showed Bo and Evie how to make boiled dumplings. The girls loved getting their hands all sticky in the mixture. They finished boiling the dumplings just in time for the fireworks. I can't believe we got to stay up until midnight, exclaimed Bo as she nibbled on the dumpling. Bo and Evie gazed through the windows at the bright, colorful patterns exploding in the night sky. Uncle Jian and Mom wished each other a Happy New Year in Mandarin Chinese. How do I say that? Evie asked Bo. You say it like this. Xin Nian Huai La, said Bo. Xin Nian Huai La, everyone shouted happily. The next morning, Bo and Evie woke up full of excitement. When they got downstairs, they were each given some lucky red envelopes with money inside. Thank, Thank you. you, they both said with huge smiles on their faces. Now go and get dressed while I make breakfast, said Dad. We can leave for the parade as soon as you're ready. The family arrived at the vibrant, busy festival. The noise of the crowd filled the air and the streets were bright with color. The best part is the dragon, said Bo excitedly. Just wait until you see it. As they walked past the food stalls, Evie couldn't believe her eyes. There's just so much to choose from. Evie bought some delicious sweets and shared them with Bo as they looked around at the red and gold decorations. Walking through the crowd, Evie noticed someone holding a paper dragon on wooden sticks. Is that the dragon? She asked hopefully. No, Bo explained. That's not the dragon we're looking for, but those are a lot of fun. Uncle Jian passed some money to the woman behind the stall and took two of the paper dragons. Here, you can have one each, he said with a smile as he handed them to Bo and Evie. Bo pulled Evie further down the busy street and then suddenly, they heard the loud banging of a drum. Coming towards them through the crowd was a multicolored animal with big eyes and a huge mouth. That must be the dragon, shouted Evie over the noise of the drums. No, explained Bo. Those are the lion dancers. They're amazing. What a show, said Gran. What's next? Shall we go and find the blue dragon? Mom asked pointing down a narrow street. Evie's face lit up. Finally, we get to see the dragon, she thought. The blue dragon is our favorite restaurant, explained Bo. You should try the pork buns. They're yummy. Once everyone had eaten, Mom passed them all a piece of paper. It's time to write your wishes for the wishing tree, she said. Make sure it's a good one, Bo whispered to Evie. It might come true. Everyone hung their wishes on the wishing tree, feeling hopeful about what the year would bring. Where next? asked Uncle Charlie. We need to find a good spot for Bo's favorite part of the day, replied Dad. The family found a space among the hundreds of excited people. While they were waiting, Evie and Bo listened eagerly as Uncle Jian told the story of the Chinese Zodiac. Look! shouted Dad. There it is! Evie turned around and saw the most enormous, colorful, spectacular dragon. Evie stared in wonder, trying to work out how the people were making it move. It was the most amazing puppet she had ever seen. The family watched as the magical creature made its way through the crowd. Wow, explained Evie. That 
really was the best part. Continue the learning with exclusive teacher-created resources to engage and inspire children at school, at home, and beyond. Visit twinkle.com originals.